Hey guys, it's Calum619 here, and today I've got a very interesting tutorial for you. It's Twixter syncing, so uh, you don't want to use this on like a gameplay or something, but say on a guy, say when somebody's running, it'll mean that it'll jump to the music, you know, and I'm just a way to show you what you want to do. So here, you drag your clip, go to a new composition, and I'll show you why this is what you want to do later on and um, it just makes things easier to work with you see so drag the clip here to where he starts to run right about here pull that back get my pre-composed clip which is this drag it into the timeline so here this is where he starts running you see and now, I'm going to go to where he first has his gunshot to kill the guy. There. And you want to go to edit, split layer. And drag the music along a little bit. And pull that along to where the drop of the music is. And you can just have a look through your song, whatever you want to use to see what the drop is in it and um, this is why pre-composing is good so you can stretch out all your clips to whatever length you want and here you see it goes way past and then it comes back but I'll show you what that matters in a minute so you want to right click your music keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes so when it loads here we go right what it has just done is it's gone through every frame for the music and it has keyframed the amplitude. See, each frame. Now what you want to do is click that button and then um, click that so it says show animated properties. And as you can see here, it's gone through every part and keyframed it so it ranges from say uh, about 70 to 40 something like that now this is the part where it's gonna get quite confusing okay you go to your your split um, your split your split clip add twixter to it right change the frame rate to whatever the frame rate of your clip is you can do that by um, right clicking your clip in your library and going to properties it tells you there it will say like 59 frames per second something like that so here I want to come down go to effects twixter output control alt click on the stopwatch so you have to go alt click linear bra open bracket now see, these are expressions, these are quite confusing, it takes a while to get used to. And then, what I want to do, oops, yeah, what I want to do is I want to drag this, drag that, onto the slider, which means that it is just linked the actual clip to the amplitude of the music. And what I want to do here is I'm going to take the audio ranges, which is the lows, 40, the highs, 70, and then the speeds. I want it to go, on the lows, I want it to go to 1, and on the highs, I want it to go to, say, 300. Close bracket. Now, you'll see here, it jumps along with the music. And I'll put an example... In fact, I'll do a quick round preview of this. Just give me one second. Now, I'll just do a quick four seconds of it, but... Uh, it didn't work out too well, but... Hmm. 
I'll sort that out. Um, but yeah, basically there, what you can see is it's jumping on each up note, and it's slowing down on the lows. Actually, I'll try a quick RAM preview of the bit further ahead, see if it's still doing it or not. Yes, it is. But, now, you know how I said before, it's going to be way ahead. I want to come to the bit here, and go back to the very last frame of the previous clip. And I want to keep changing this value at the end, until it gets close to where it stopped before. So, let's try 200. Now see, that's a lot closer. So, 250. 220. Thirty. Yeah, that's close enough, right? So there you see, after it's done jumping along, when it switches to the next clip, it'll be it'll run completely smooth. So if I do another little round preview here, Now look, see, it doesn't look the best there, but, yeah, it doesn't look bad. It should be okay. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's nothing else really to add. Um, as all it is, is it's sinking to there. It won't really work, it can't really work with gunshots, so, um... If you would like to see a tutorial on how you can get it to work with, like, not that method, but how you can sync gunshots to the beat, um, then write a comment below. And apart from that, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.